Evening folks, how are we doing? Q ball here. Just a bit out of breath. Removing the RF from the side of the shed, it's got no battery or nothing. I'm gonna wait until I put it in the shed to put the battery in. So let's get to it. Today's video, hopefully you enjoyed the oil change on the bandit. Basically it's gonna be get the bandit out, let's get the RF in, let's get the battery in there, let's see if she can fire. She hasn't fired for a few weeks. And then the plan is if I've got the time uh, to do an oil change on the RF as well. So the title of this video will be uh, oil, oil and oil filter on a Suzuki RF. Uh, so let's see how we go. Before we go anywhere, we've got the heater on. It's a bit cold out there, but a beer. Oh, I've just come back from uh, the pub actually. We went out for something to eat with the family and had a pint. Time for some shed fun. So let's get the bandits out, let's get the RF in. I'll put it in time lapse. Alright folks, cue ball back, I managed to swap the bikes over. Put that in time lapse, I've just got to put the battery back in the bike uh, and see if she fires. I'm not going to film putting the battery in because that's not part of this video. Uh, I might do time lapse, maybe just putting it in part of the video, I'm just prattling about, it's something to do eh? so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back to you in a minute Right folks, we're going to crack on with the job in hand, which we'll be able to do. I'll let the oil drop, I'll put the nut back in, and then we will try and get the oil filter out. If I can't get it out... cue ball here with a fairing it's a bit tough to see the uh, sump nut so hopefully there is the sump nut so all I'm going to show you I'm going to tell you the sump nut size you're not going to be able to see me undoing it because of these two exhaust pipes so this is about the best I can get put some light in there Get your socket, it's a 21mm on this nut. This is the original nut, lock, 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 lock on my bandit. Don't forget, it's the same principle because it's upside down, it's clockwise to undo and anti clockwise to tighten up. So, first things first, just make sure you've got all your equipment in the right position. Hello, um, and it's clockwise. So that's anti, this is clockwise, so we're going to undo it slowly. Hopefully this will come undone. There we go. It's just a bit tight. She's coming undone. Don't forget your uh, tray of choice. 
as soon as that comes undone you're going to want uh, the oil to be dropping in there so I'm just going to come undone a sec get that in there and then I'm going to have to probably get my hand in to, to undo it So get your hand in there on the nut. Don't forget clockwise to undo it. Um, this is going to come out fast. It's just going to be literally a job of pushing it straight in. Not undone yet. Literally got no room. It's coming undone. I'm see if I can get my hand in there and burning my hand. That pipe's up. Because of these pipes you've got no fucking room. No, still not done yet. It'll come undone in a minute. You don't want oil on your floor. Just trying to do it with my finger. There we go. And the oil's coming out now. Hopefully, I can just get the camera in there. I'll get you some light. You can just see the oil in between the. Uh, literally, that's how much room you've got. You could probably do a smaller tray if you're going to film it. You can just see the oil draining into the uh, oil pan. So I'm going to leave that now, five, ten minutes, and then. Uh, We'll try and get the oil filtered out. So I'll come back to you in a minute. Right folks, keep all back. All that's still draining. To be honest, I think that's all of it. It's only dry it's just slightly draining on the uh, exhaust pipe. I'm just gonna try and find the sump nut while I'm here. Which is in your oil pan. Still, I just want to make sure there's no oil draining on the floor. So I'm gonna leave that a little bit in there. Let's try and get my hand in there. I bet that's gonna be red hot. No, it's not so bad actually. There we go. One sump not covered in oil. Put that. Did I put it back in? Yep, fucking okay, idiot. So I'm just going to clean the sump nut up and we'll come back. Hi right, folks, keep all here. I've got the sump nut back out. Just clean it anymore. Um, here's your sump nut, which you've seen before. And as I said on my last video, I would advise to replace your sump nut but in this case I always inspect the nut make sure there's no metal burrs or anything inside the nut let's just turn the heating up it's getting a bit warm in here again now and uh, that sump nut looks alright to me so I'm going to put that back in the bike carefully And obviously when we put it back in we put a bit of grease on it. For now we'll just leave it on the side. Out the way. That oil's still draining. So I'm going to try and loosen that oil filter up. Once I've loosened it up I'll get the camera in there and just show you. You know, same as the last video where we to undo it. Hey folks, cube all here. Uh, as I said at the start of the video, 
with a third bike you might have issues getting your oil filter in this case I have I just haven't got the time to sit there all day trying to change the filter but like I said in the manual it does say uh, change every second service so we're just going to imagine this is your oil filter on your third bike it's the same like on my last video the bandit literally that just sits in your engine if you can get a tool or a chain tool or anything on it it's literally anti-clockwise to undo it round round screws off and the same put it back on clockwise so uh, I'm just going to put the oil in now so I'll get down there now and put the oil in Right, I'm going to put the nut back in now. So before I just put the nut back in, same as last time when I showed you on the bandit video, just a bit of regular grease. Get your sump nut. Take the cap off the grease. Probably shoot a bit off the lid to be honest. There ain't too much on there. You don't need a lot. Just a finger bit, not too much. Get your sump nut. Just put some grease round the threads. Probably put a bit too much on there. So uh, put that to one side a minute. Put your grease away. A tin of that will last you forever. Um, and just get something to wipe the nut. Just wipe the top of it so you don't get any of that in your engine. Bit of grease won't hurt anything. Like I said before, if you're using gaskets and stuff and using Hylomar, that's the stuff that you don't want in your engine. So you normally tend to use it on the, the casing and not on the inside, so it's going towards the engine. This grease is just for the threads. And then uh, we'll put it back in the bike. Down we come. Now we get, we'll just get some light in here. Two seconds, folks. Right, it'll be anti clockwise to tighten her up. So, let's just show you where the nut is. That's where the nut is. Hopefully, you can see me. There's still a, a tiny bit of oil dripping out. I'll just put a rag there for now. See if I can get in there and uh, right, put her in. I remember which way you're turning her. So, anti-clockwise so it's going to be anti-clockwise just tighten ring with my hand not too much pressure on the nut and then I would advise to get a spanner and tighten this up because well, I've got these exhaust pipes the socket is a little bit easier and don't forget anti-clockwise like I said check before you're putting it in that's clockwise so set it for anti that's anti-clockwise so it's all set up and ready to go to be honest that's that's about as tight as she's going to go you don't know, if, you, if, if you feel that now that is not moving. You carry on with that now. You're gonna you're gonna round her off. So that's that's tight now. It's banging there. So just give it a clean. Give it one more inspection for you uh, for any oil in. And like I said before, if it is dropping, if it does start dripping any oil, just nip her up. But in that case, I literally got the socket. Then, if I went to push on that any more, I'd round the threads off. Literally just get to that point and tight done. Next job, put the oil in. Leave the rag down just in case. And let's get the oil in. Right okay. folks, get all back. Uh, just show you before we do anything. First things first, before you do your oil, you just undo your oil cap anti-clockwise. A bit of trouble with the bandit one. That one's come straight off. And uh, if you don't know which oil to put in your engine, Suzuki has kindly just put a bit of light in there. Put on the top of the cap 10W40, semi simplistic you want to put in the engine. So it's 10W40, put that somewhere safe out of the way. If you don't know the amount to put in your engine, 
I don't know if you can come and see that there, if I just get a torch. In this case it's 3000 millilitres of oil, which is 300 millilitres less than the Bandit. So first things first, let's uh, put this camera somewhere safe out of the way. Get yourself a uh, funnel, one of these, preferably without any old oiling. So I'm just going to go and clean this out. Right, I've cleaned that out now. I'm just going to give the lens a clean. I don't know if you noticed on the last video, I must have got some oil on my camera lens. It blurred the picture out a bit, hopefully not in this case. So get your oil. 10W40, don't forget, so imagine this is a brand new one from the dealership. Like I said in my last video, I don't buy it from the dealership anymore. I uh, keep it Get it from a friend, gets it for a bit cheaper for me. And I would advise Motel Oil 10W40 Semi Synthetic Engine Oil. Get about 4 litres of that, should cover you if you need to top it up later. So just Make sure you've got your uh, thing so you can see that you can put a thousand millilitres in to start with. So I'll just bring the camera there. You can see me filling the jar up. Done. Somewhere out of the way. see there's a thousand millilitres so you want to do three of them and then that's your lot for the in this case so I'm just going to set the camera somewhere safe for you right, right hopefully you can see everything there there's your oil hole get yourself a funnel put that in the hole you can just see that as I fill it up Get your jug with your oil in. Careful not to spill it everywhere. Hopefully you can see that filling up. I'll try and adjust the camera for you. Hopefully that's a bit better for you. There you go, you can see the oil going in now. Try not to drop it. I'm going to do two jobs at once here, film the video and do the service. Oh, that's that one, you've got to do that twice more. So I'll cut it there and we'll just bring it in for the last bit and I'll share the last bit of the oil actually going in the end. Right, folks, cue ball back. I'm just going to film you showing the last bit going in. Well, that's it going in. I'll just top it up and then I'll come back in with the camera. Right, folks, that's the last bit of oil going into the engine. 3,000 millilitres of the stuff. Set the funnel out. Make sure it's all gone in. Put that out of the way somewhere. The side clean, so there's no oil on the side of your engine. Get your funnel, just uh, that's somewhere out of the way. Just show you something as well. This is your oil cap for the top of the engine. Just get a bit of the oil out the old uh, pot here, just put it around the threads so it goes in nice and easy. Wipe. Put that back on the engine, like so, clockwise, just a little bit fiddly, there we go, don't have to over tighten these, literally tight, finger tight done, next job, fire the bike up. Right folks, cue ball back, just before we fire the engine up, just uh, get to the bottom of your bike, make sure there's no leaks, sign on the filter and the uh, oil filter um, 
if there ain't crack on same as before like on the bandit switch on your bike here in this case on the RF here's your oil light that's what you're looking for when you fire the bike up that will stay on for a few seconds literally only for a few seconds then it should go off if it stays on cut your engine off it means you've got problems with your oil so we're looking for this to stay on for a few seconds and then it should go off and don't forget on the RF you've got to bring the clutch in to fire the bike up so I'm just going to use my fingers try and in this case the oil light went straight off now everything's running all right I'm just going to put it on the chow a little bit That's it, that's all you've got to do, and obviously when you switch your engine off, your oil light will come back on again. If you just want to be double safe, bring your clutch in, the engine off again, and when you put your engine off, your oil light will come on. That's just to tell you that your oil's okay. So that video was how to change your engine oil slash oil filter, obviously in this case I was unsuccessful. But you know how to do it, I showed you in the last video. And I will be getting that oil filter done. Um, just in this case, I ain't got the time to get it out. So it's got fresh oil in. I'll go and see my mate. We'll literally just take it out, put a tray under there, put the noon in, top the oil up, done. And that's another thing as well, yeah. Once you've done all this, just don't forget to keep checking your oil levels. And if, if it goes a little bit low, you've only got to top it up. Hopefully that helps someone. Hope you all have a great new year. And I'll catch you for the next one. Right.